What is up YouTube? I'm back again with another video. So uh, I've been waiting to do this video. Um, I finally got my Rothko trauma kit in the mail. I didn't think it was going to come today because its tracking number said that it got into my town but it never said it was out for delivery so I was pretty bummed about that but I literally just got home from work and I, well here it is. So um, basically this is a huge Rothko trauma kit that Rothko offers and you could get the contents itself for a refill or a uh, the, the whole kit where it'll come with a bag. It, on eBay, for me, it was cheaper to get it, uh, just the contents and then my own bag for it. It turns out that the bag that I ordered for it uh, was from the same seller, so I got that with it too. Um, without further ado, let's take a look at it. So a lot of stuff, it came in this bag here, it's like a thick garbage bag, just tied off like a garbage bag, and the only sticker on here or tag is this, not sure if the camera will focus, but uh, it says 919, so I imagine that's a manufacturing date, and uh, there's an hourglass, which I would assume is the expiration date, and that's uh, June, or January 2022, and it says www.elitefirstaidincorporated.com, and it, uh, well, here's the bag for it, but I'll get its own video, and then it was wrapped up in bubble wrap, shrink wrap, and then just one of these mail bags. So it was about the size of a, a pillow, a normal pillow. Um, but here is everything. So I will go into detail. Oh, I'm going to pull up its contents sheet since it doesn't actually come with one. So I'll just pull it up off of uh, the eBay listing. And here's the eBay listing. So it's, it's straight from Rothko's pictures. So for bandages and dressings, you get one six inch elastic bandage. That's that thing there. You get five iPads right there. I wish it would come with an even number uh, because when you cover one eye, you really should be covering the other eye too. Cause, uh, well, so basically cover your left eye with your hand and then look uh, with your other eye um, far right. Your left eye is going to follow that eye. So basically, if you had something stuck in there, that could cause further damage. And that's why if you bandage an eye, you really should be bandaging both of them. Uh, but that's just a small tidbit of information. Um, so five eye pads, 16 one-inch by three-inch banded strips. Those are band-aids. Five... Uh, 2 inch by 3 inch bandage strips and 10 um, 5 by 9 abdominal pads. So those are the abdominal pads. Here's all the band-aids. And then you got uh, 5 4 by 4 gauze. That's those things there. And you got 2 uh, bleed stop bandages. That's these things here and here. And two 40 by 40 by 56 triangular bandages that's those things there and five butter uh, five butterfly strips those they're somewhere around here I think hmm I know I just saw them too um, and 10 knuckle bandages and uh, three 12 by 30 multi trauma dressings. So that's those things. 12 by 30. And then five ammonia inhalants. That's these things here. In theory, these are supposed to wake people up. Basically, just open it and stick it next to their nose. And then for EMS equipment and supplies, you get eight pairs of examination gloves. That's those there. Um, you really shouldn't use latex just because. Uh, your patient could have an allergy to it. Now, if you're going to buy this, 
as a kit just for yourself or your family and you know no one in your family has a latex allergy, then by, by, go, by all means, go ahead and use them. There's nothing that says that they are latex. I can't confirm it, so I'm just not going to use them. I mean, I have these nitrile ones that I got in the mail, too, that uh, I was basically going to replace them with. So, you got eight pairs of examination gloves, two blank casualty blankets, 84 by 52 inches, silver and OD. That's those things there. Two one-inch tapes rolls. That's those. You get uh, two ice packs or cold packs. There they are. And five tongue depressors. That's those things there. And <coughs> one EMT shears. I think it's time out the trauma shears there. You get tweezers, scalpel, two scalpel blades. That's those. Uh, one latex tourniquet. That's this thing. Basically, it's a strip of latex. If you've ever seen any TV show where someone's doing drugs and they're shooting up, that's pretty much what they're using. Me, personally, I wouldn't recommend it, again, for the latex allergy. Um, and, of course, that latex could dry out and just rip the first time that you apply it onto a patient. Of course, a nylon cat tourniquet could, too, but I think uh, the latex probably going to dry out before the nylon does. You get one stethoscope blood pressure cuff kit and uh, two stutures, two stainless steel hemostats, one number three scalpel handle, two airways, that's these things here, those are oral pharyngeal airways or OPAs as we call them. Now there's actually a whole kit that uh, goes with those so since it only comes with two of them uh, I think I'm probably just gonna throw those out and I'd rather have a complete kit if I decide to carry them um, and then one cervical collar that's this thing here cervical collars they only provide 50% um, spinal mobilization the most that you can provide for your patient is gonna be manual c-spine Basically, that's holding their head in line with their body. Um, so to apply that thing, you are going to need two people, or at least you should be using two people. Um, if you're just a, a personal person just using this, getting this as your own kit, then if you don't want to use two people and you think that you need to apply one to someone, then I guess you could, but that liability is on you. Um, this kit is just for, like, me, because uh, my agency, we can respond to calls through our POV. At least EMTs can. I'm an EMT, so um, if it's just going to be me, then, well, for a trauma call, it really shouldn't be going straight to scene. And we have our own bylaws that will go in depth on that. But uh, for just a single person rescuer, you shouldn't be using a C, or a C collar, basically. But it's nice that they include that nonetheless. And you get your pin light. That's there. And it's a relatively bright one. Uh, and it's an actual pin too, so that's nice. I think it's reusable, not just one of the uh, one and dones. And universal splint. That's that thing there. It's basically like a poor man's Sam splint. Those things are really awesome. CPR mask, that's this thing here. Um, I'd like to replace it with the, the bigger kind that can actually hook up to uh, a BVM or an Ambu bag. Not just one of those small pocket ones like that. And then for wound cleaning and miscellaneous, you get uh, aspirin packages of two. So that's those. So you get a total of 10 of them. Uh, one six ounce calamine lotion, that's that thing there. Uh, six after bite wipes, those are there. Um, 45 antiseptic wipes, that's all of these. And there's more underneath them. Uh, 
one bottle of skin and eye wash. So far, this is my only complaint about this thing is that it on its way here it accidentally got punctured and leaked in the bag. So far, nothing's damaged that I know of, but uh, this, since it can't be sealed, uh, not that you'd want to still use it if, even if you could, um, it's technically no good. But it that's a small, easy item to re replace. Um, five burnade packages. Those are those. Now, when I went through the EMT class, we were told that we really shouldn't use these things because uh, anything that you apply onto your patient's burn in the hospital setting is going to have to be scraped off anyways. So um, that'd be causing more harm to your patient, or at least pain, and uh, therefore you really shouldn't use these. So probably just going to throw those out. And then you get one first aid booklet. That's that thing. I haven't gone through it yet, so I'm curious to see on how accurate it is. And then uh, six safety pins. There they are. One two-ounce hand sanitizer bottle. There it is. And hand soap. And ten triple antibiotic packages right there. So if I can get good lighting here. Might have to close one of the curtains here for you guys. Or both of them. There we go. That's. Let's see if I can't get better. There you go. So that's everything that this kit comes with. I'd say for $120, it isn't that bad. So if you guys have any questions about this kit, just go ahead and let me know. Um, you guys will see this thing again. And as always, have a nice day.